Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Today, I'm expecting temperatures to climb into the 50s and 60s out there. We actually will see a bit of a range in temperatures, probably middle 50s to the north, close to 70 to the south. Although I don't expect to see the clouds to go anywhere, we'll keep it at a mostly cloudy sky, maybe an isolated sprinkle or perhaps a brief shower somewhere with northeast winds 3 to 8 miles an hour. Here's the highs for today. Notice to the north around Tupelo, mid to upper 50s. I've got 59 in Tupelo, 56 in Boonville, 57 in New Albany, Water Valley. At 60, 62 then in Aberdeen. And we'll see more clouds than not. Maybe a little sunshine sneaks on through, but I won't hold my breath there. 65 will be the high in Columbus, 69 in Kosciuszko, 70 in Carthage and in Philadelphia. We'll get the 67 in Louisville and in Macon. And then in West Alabama, Hamilton at 61, 64 in Vernon, Aliceville, getting up to 67 for our highs today. Into tonight, not as chilly yet again. Upper 40s and low 50s with a mostly cloudy sky. Maybe an isolated shower somewhere or perhaps a few sprinkles. Winds then by tonight will start to trend out of the south and east. I've got it at 2 to 6 miles an hour. By the morning, they'll pick up, I think, between 5 and 15. And Saturday brings us showers and thunderstorms, some of which are expected to be strong. Strong as we see warmer temperatures into the region. Here's what Futurecast has for today. Notice a few sprinkles can't be ruled out, but overall just more of a verbal mention. We keep things mostly cloudy into the day today. By 8 o'clock, you already see some of those south and east winds picking up into the region, and we'll keep things partly to mostly cloudy overnight tonight with a stray shower possible. Notice though by the time we get to Saturday morning, we've got some showers off to our north and our west. We may see showers and a few thunderstorms into Saturday late morning into the early afternoon, though this is not where our our severe threat is coming from. We have to watch that cold front off to our west. As that front slides on through Saturday afternoon into Saturday night, that is where we will see the best chance for severe weather into the region. And the front clears on through, meaning by Sunday morning early, we will dry things out. Likely seeing Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds and breezy west winds, 10 to 20 miles an hour, helping to bring some cooler air on in. Now, as of 8 a.m. this Saturday, uh, Friday morning, the Saturday severe threat from the Storm Prediction Center has the level two risk off to our south and our west of the Golden Triangle with a level one risk in our region. I think that's going to change. I'm expecting that to lift more into our region. And so we will advertise a level two threat here with a few storms that are capable of gusty winds and perhaps a tornado or two from Saturday afternoon, 3 p.m. until Sunday morning at 3 a.m. That's our window of opportunity. Here's why I think we've got that level two threat area wide here at the WCBI viewing area. Notice as we get into Saturday afternoon, some of these greens and yellows here fill into our region. This is our future storm energy, looking at if we we can get some showers and thunderstorms. And this is a little more energy than we saw earlier this week with that severe threat that came in overnight. Once that front clears through, though, our severe threat rapidly diminishes into the region by early Sunday morning. In addition, low level winds seem to maximize just a little bit over our region here. When you bring some of that thunderstorm energy underneath some low level wind shear, that's when we can get some of these gusty showers and storms with perhaps an embedded circulation or two. And so that will be something that we'll have to watch throughout the day, Saturday into Saturday night. Recapping our timing 3 p.m. Saturday until 3 a.m. on Sunday. Damaging winds, a brief tornado or two are possible into the region. And we may have to up the threat just a little bit. If those ingredients can come together a little more, that's something we'll be monitoring over the next 24 hours. You can stay connected with the forecast having a NOAA weather radio that will give you a weather alert if one is issued in your area, especially if it has same SAME programming capabilities. Uh, that's a great thing to buy on Black Friday or even on Small Business Saturday. The WCBI mobile app, download that. We will send you a push alert if a warning is issued in your area. And then, of course, WCBI.com slash safety has a lot of great resources to stay connected. So our severe threat comes Comes on through here, then Saturday afternoon and evening on the back side, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds on Sunday and on Monday. Breezy west winds will bring in much cooler air in here. And the start the week next week here as we head into December very much feels like that. I've got highs on Monday. Only in the upper 40s out there, we will drop down into the upper 20s on Monday night. Lots of sunshine continues on Tuesday and on Wednesday. I've added the chance for a few isolated showers by Thursday into Thursday night ahead of another developing system.